It is crunch time. Come on over, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Hi. Is this where you're going to be? That's where he's going to be. Hi, everybody. Oh, how... How odd, how new to do, um... To do a, a solo stream up in the um, up in the loft. It's so it's so different. It's so different. This uh, this background will be new for folks who were not at breakfast stream this week, because we have moved everything up to the loft, which is where we intend to do like our streaming stuff. Kep is here. He just wants a lap. He's in lap mode today. Uh, we are going to be playing um, Live Alive. Is Nintendo sent a copy over? And I'm excited to try it. It's a it's a it's a, it's a game from the Super Famicom era. Never left Japan, alive, and alive, uh, alive. it's finally. There's some, there's some alive alerts, apparently. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it. It's, it's, it's one of those things where, um, it's kind of been a cult classic, uh, but it's never come out in the U.S. It's, it's, it's like, uh, I, I kind of liken it to, uh, Mother 3, um, except this predates Mother 3 by... 10 years? 12 years? Something like that? I think this is like 94. Mother 3 is obviously 2006. So clearly, uh, we just have like what? Like 12 more years? We just got 12 more years, guys. Then we'll get Mother 3. Exciting. Anyway, I'm going to read some alerts and then uh, we'll get to the gameplay. I've never played this before. I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with it. Um, but when I say vague, I mean like, like pretty vague. Like, I'm familiar that the game exists, and I'm aware of the fact that it's, like, multiple plot lines. And you, you, you play through, like, different little stories. So I'm excited about it, especially knowing that it's been kind of a loved game. Um, a beloved game for almost 30 years. And I finally get to try it today. Uh, 33 months from Starlight Moon. 17 months from Lord Misfit. We get three and three bits from uh, Lord Misfit with the uh, the John Su One Cherry Star Rain. You know, I've never played the entirety of the original Doom. Anyway, forty-four months from Rallet Hoot, forty-three months from Not a Masochist, seven months from Dual Braids, thirty-two months from Munchkin Academia, uh, thirty-three months from Night Owl Twenty, twelve months from Sting AZG. Congrats on the one. Normally I'd have this in my lap, but there's a Kepler there. 30 months from TMA628. 29 months from Humbology. 12 months from Zim Eats Gers Waffles. I'm just going to kind of rest half of this on you. Will you care? You don't care. He doesn't care. He's fine. 40 months from Jamie2286. 31 from Harumi Kendall. 46 from Phelps Out. 34 from Elio Hyena. 45 from Ryan B06. 100 bits from Retro64 Polygon. Uh, seven months from Little uh, Miss Music. Uh, we have another 300 bits from Lord Misfit with another uh, Cherry Star Rain. Yeah, I've definitely never beaten Doom. I don't think I've even really gotten that far. I've played, like, the first few levels. I should really put that on my list. This is kind of like a classic, kind of like a classic thing. Uh, 301 bits uh, from uh, Somber Make 91 with the couple 39 Kappa star rain. It's a little, little, little bubble star there. 378 bits with Night Owl. Uh, it says two stream day, two stream day. It is true. If you did not know, um, 
it's a two-stream day, which is weird. We don't really do that, uh, but we're doing it today because tonight at 8, Mal and I are returning to Pokemon Let's Go, which I'm very excited about because we have not played in a while. And um, the last time we played, the power went out. <laughs> so this time, for one, I don't believe the power will go out. Um, but I'm looking forward to uh, actually returning to what we were doing. I think we were heading to Cinnabar. So that's tonight at 8. Fun fact, I actually have not yet found everything I need to stream that game. Um, we're missing a dock, and I know it's in a box. So I'm doing this stream, and then after this stream ends, from the time that stream ends to when the Pokemon stream starts, I'm looking for a thing. Just gotta, gotta find it. I, it's in the house. It's here. I just have to find it. I thought for sure I would have found it by now, and I haven't. Anyway... <laughs> It'll be great. I've seen a lot of people asking about Stray. Um, Stray looks interesting. I'll say that. It looks interesting. I would like to play it at some point. I don't know when that'll be. I can't like guarantee like a, a date or a time on it, other than I've seen a little gameplay footage of it, and it looks really cool. And if I have my way, I will get a chance to try it probably on stream at some point. I just don't know when that'll be. But it does, it does look, it does look good. Uh, and you probably knew that Mal and I eh, like cats. I'm sure she would like to, to try it out too. We got 10 months from Shadow Play 626 and 39 months from Colin DP. Thank you. So anyway. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty relatively short. I mean short. Games that don't overstay their welcome, or even games that are comparatively short compared to other titles, are fine. They're fine. Uh, if I can experience a game in four hours, like, dang, man, that, and it's like a solid good experience, that sounds good. I don't need to play a hundred hour game. I actually don't want, I don't want to do, <laughs> I don't want to play hundred hour games. Don't want to play 100 hour games. This is just normal Coke. Just normal Coke. Where was I? <laughs> I'm not technically still LPing Skyrim. I did those streams a long time ago. They're still coming out. Special ex this is a special exception. Special exception to some Bethesda games, because they they hold a, a very special place in my heart. Uh, we also got 25 months from Captain McKitty. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to tweet that we're live, and then I'm going to start playing the video game. That's my plan. It's a brilliant plan, because it's simple. Uh, I'm going to search for gifts on... Uh, Twitter and see if there's anything related to Live Alive. There is not. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I would have thought that they would have. Uh, now I'm just going to search for Alive. Perfect, okay. We'll do this. There's more words in it than I originally thought. It's fine. So we're going to do uh, live, uh, live is now, hold on, no, this can, this can be more complicated. I'm, here we go, I'm now live, no wait, that can be even better. I'm alive and now live with live alive. Yep, that's brilliant. I'm alive and now live with Live Alive. And then a link to the stream. <laughs> you know, in life, you gotta look for the things that bring you joy. 
And this this brought me this brought me joy. All right, joy has been had. Oh, what on earth? My 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 gift got squished. It's fine. I don't care. All right, let's do it. Let's let's try this sucker out. Um, I'm gonna hit pause on the music. And then, um, uh, let's see if it, I, I think I already kind of explained this. I'll explain this, uh, again, just because I, I believe that, uh, Emmy is going to, um, maybe cut this up into a highlights. So for the purposes of, uh, this getting cut up a little bit on YouTube and posted, um, oh, actually, ooh, 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 here, hold on, hold on, check this out. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. I I went and I went and I found this because very specifically, uh, when Nintendo sent this over, there was like a little write up thing, and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna just read this write up thing. Originally released for the Super Famicom system and revitalized in the stunning HD 2D visual style, this marks the first time Live Alive is available outside of Japan. Experience seven <laughs> stories in any order you choose in this RPG classic directed by Takashi Tokita, known for his work on Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy IV and featuring a soundtrack overseen by Kingdom Hearts uh, series and Final Fantasy XV composer uh, Yoko Shimomura. Every era has its own characters to meet, objectives to complete, and mechanics that change the gameplay. Along the way, you'll become the ultimate fighter in the present day, solve a mystery in the distant future, and fight for survival in prehistory, just to name a few. Discover and maximize the distinct abilities of each protagonist and excel in strategic, grid-based RPG combat. Begin your story and unravel the thread that unites these disparate heroes. That's neat. That's neat. Or... The short version is, back in the mid-90s, there was this cool game that came out in Japan, and everyone was like, will we get it? And we didn't. But now, it's been 30 years, and we're allowed to have it. So now we can play Live Alive. Thanks, Nintendo. That's the short version. All right. Let's get to it. <laughs> Other three win. <laughs> uh, 13 months from JT Slasher. And 302 from Lord Misfit with the... What the heck? Star Ring. I like the little parrot rubbing his eyes. There's a lot of logos. Oh, yeah. I forgot. So... <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 ahead now. I if you jump back and forth, I know that that's a little alarming, but um the camera's more zoomed out than it typically is because it's further away and I was like, "Eh, I'll probably change that." So, um I hope y'all like head. This game uses an autosave feature. I know I played a video game, so I'm probably probably good on that. Thanks. Game looks good. Welcome to This is exciting. I do really like this uh visual style for you know doing remakes for games of that era. And it really makes me want to see more of it. Like anytime, anytime they're like, you know what, we got this old game. I'm like, you, you can do that. Bring it over. Let's take a look at settings first. See what they got. There's game settings. Okay, it's all fine. Graphic settings. Change brightness, scale, and contrast. Language settings. Okay. And volume settings. 
Okay. Cool. Yeah, Illusion of Gaia, Terradigma. There's a lot of games that would benefit from this treatment, for sure. And like you, you obviously have the nostalgia crowd that are excited to get a chance to to replay games like that, and then you're hopefully reaching an entirely new group of people that have never um, experienced some of these titles. So that's the hope. Uh, Thirty-one months from Buff Banoff. Appreciate it. New game. Okay, so like right out, right out of the gate, you just get to choose which of the seven stories you you want to do. Okay, so there's a, there's quite a few that we can like we can choose from, and I actually have some recommendations that I believe I believe they're from Thomas. I think Thomas is the one that made these recommendations. Let me go find them. Let's scroll up. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, prehistory is a good start, but it doesn't really have dialogue. Wild West and present day are short. Japan is the longest, but probably has the best story. The distant future has a bunch of reading. So it looks like it's recommended to maybe start with uh, prehistory, and then do like Wild West or present day. One of those. And obviously we won't be playing through the entirety of this. Um, the hope, right, is that this game will be, um, let's say, good enough uh, that you'll see me play a little bit of it and you'll be like, oh, I want to experience, like, the rest of that. <laughs> Hopefully. Hi, Tom. Hope you're doing well. We got 28 months from 63 fills. Uh, 300 bits from Gold Major says, Plans change and I have to work. And I have work to do, so I can't watch now. Hoping I can watch it or most of it before Pokemon tonight or after. And we'll get this up on uh, Stephen Vaught as, as quickly as humanly possible also. Uh, we got a subscription from Major Mooch. Welcome. Uh, 45 months uh, from uh, Dark Overroar. And uh, 300 bits more Turtle who says, uh, Glad I could catch this. I have D&D &D as my... Uh, Emo almost necromancer druid tonight, so I have to miss the Pokemon stream. Also, ooh, RPG, I'm sold. Easy sell. <laughs> and this is, I mean, this is a classic. Like, this is something that, like, before I even go into it, I know that folks have loved this game for almost 30 years, so I'm, I'm excited to try it. Um, and it's it's kind of a weird thing about remakes, right? Is if you If you go into a remake and it's like, oh, this is like a critically acclaimed game, like, you know that it, you already know that it's going to be good. So it's really just what kind of pizzazz they've thrown on it for the modern era. And if they've done any, like, quality of life changes and, and graphically what they've done with, like, the 3D part. So it's kind of neat. 300 bits from Noir X Kitty, who just says, Clown. And also a subscription from Retro64 Polygon. Welcome to you as well. Okay. So I think I'm going to take, I'm going to take that advice and, um... I'm going to start with prehistory. So we'll probably be able to get through the entirety of prehistory and then move into um, the Wild West or uh, present day or whatnot. So let's start with prehistory and go from there. In a forgotten era before kings and kingdoms, a young man comes of age and is given permission by his tribe's stern elder to go forth and hunt together with his best friend, Gori. Bereft of spoken words, they rely on their senses to survive, in particular, a powerful sense of smell. Guided by their noses, they track game and find shelter and learn much of the world and its dangers. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> and like my, my understanding is that like the gameplay mechanics um, for the, the, the game actually are different depending on what chapter you're in, so that it's kind of like getting a seven different games uh, in one, which is kind of neat. Mm -hmm. 
Chief looks very different than the, the participants. Participants? The villagers? Participants of the tribe. <laughs> A little clumsy. Sure. <laughs> oh, my God, they have cars. <laughs> They have little Flintstones mobiles. <laughs> Holy mammoth. He trotting. We had 11 months from Max Run. Max Run, thank you. And 100 bits from Retro 64 Polygon. Thank you for that also. <laughs> Mammo. Oh, we got friends. Oh, they have a oh, that's a that's a that's a whole fleet. I think that's what that's called, a fleet. A fleet of mammoth. <laughs> I'm a marmy. <laughs> Prehistory, the first. Be advised that names cannot be changed. I'm gonna go with what you you recommend. Pogo. Let's go with Pogo. No, I want Pogo. Pogo sounds great. You wish to proceed? Yeah. I like Pogo. He does look like Broly. <laughs> The radar. The radar located in the bottom right corner of the screen can be used to identify unexplored areas and guide you to your current objective. This is the route to the unexplored area, route to explored area, route to current objective, and then the current objective. Oh, I guess there were more tooltips with R. Oops. <laughs> I'll never see them again. Okay, well, it's fine. This is my, like, my ape friend. We're working together. Uh, so 
So, is it, was that X? I think it was X. Main menu. Level 1, level 4. I want to check on my equipment here. There's a lot of uh, slots. We've got five main equipment slots and then uh, rings or bracelets or something. Okay. And I'm not secretly holding on to any shoes. Okay, and then whenever I toggle info, it shows there's a bunch of um, properties. There's damage resistances, status immunities, tile absorption. So this is actually pretty... There's a lot of things going on. It's pretty complex. What else we got in here? Let's look at the inventory. We don't have anything yet. Abilities. Bang, bang. Hit one bad. <laughs> Gotta hit one bad. With axe. Damage low. Pow kick. Hit one bad with foot. Okay. And it hits twice. Marshall. But that's the, uh, that's the damage type. So this is blunt damage, this is agile damage, martial damage, and spirit damage. Scareface. Hurt, uh, hurt many bad with surprise boo. Okay. Okay, so it's like a baseball diamond. This character's name is Gory. So Pogo and Gory. Got it. And what, what's, what's, their, what's their deal? What's their, their high stats here? So Gory's got extremely high physical attack and defense. And he's also pretty fast. And Pogo's actually pretty similar. Just They're just at different levels. Okay. And I, I've already seen the settings, so it's probably the same. Oh, yeah, the gameplay tip. What was it that came up before? Saving progress. Uh, by saving your progress frequently, you avoid having to replay significant portions. <laughs> Save the game. It's important. Charge gauge. Understanding the charge gauge is key to defeating strong enemies. The charge gauge will appear above allies and enemies that are readying actions. Once this gauge has been completely filled, they'll execute them. Okay. It had only shown me a few things, so I'm sure some of this stuff will come up on its own. Alright. Cool. Is this a door? Or a box? You obtained a stick. I love stick. Stick something that we need to equip. Because we have bone. Stick is stick. <laughs> and how. <laughs> bone is bone. Stick is stick. Okay. Uh, do you, can you use the stick? Because you don't have a weapon? No. Okay. So that's interesting. Because you start with a more powerful weapon. I don't see any reason... To use it. Okay. I thought it was going to be a thing where it's like, oh, we're going to teach you how to, like, equip stuff. But that's not... That's not what's happening. Alright, well, I just, I guess I'll just hold on to the stick. Maybe weapons break. Maybe there's some sort of uh, durability system. I don't know. Okay, little, little uh, elderly squid billy. Elderly squid billy is to the left. I got it. All right. Well, let me. Let me. I'm looking. I'm looking in the holes right now. Is this an inn? Okay. Sometimes there's three people, and sometimes there's five people. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure I caught that, bud. Are you asking me which one had more people? Because the left one has more. Is that what you mean? Did you want me to pick the one with less? <laughs> it, 
I did not win. Okay, three, five. Uh-huh. So he pointed to the three, I guess. So that means pick the one with less. Oh, Christ. Okay. If he wants the one with less, I think that one is on the right. Based on that. I was wrong. <laughs> Man, I can't even I can't even win the gambling games when they they're old and don't make no sense. I'll do this one more time. Chaz says this is the stream, settle in folks. We'll get to the combat, but not before we get over the gambling. Okay, find the one find the one. Maybe I'm looking for just one dude. Yeah, I'm looking for the monkey guy. Monkey dude's in the left. Monkey dude's in the left. You can't fool me. Left. I saw him. He's large. He did not exit that hay bale. I got him. <laughs> Again with the stick. Listen, I have bone. Oh, you gave, oh, both. Okay, cool. You know, you, sometimes you need a bone in each hand. Okay, great. And a beast horn. Oh, that sound, and a beast. This is a lot of stuff. And a pet, what is happening? And a set of dried skins. And a hard rock. As a reminder, there's no sense of currency here, so that costs me nothing. <laughs> the prehistoric jackpot! That's how I feel. Uh, there's also recommended equipment. If I just hit X, it just puts it in there for me, which is kind of nice. So, beast horn. Horn is sharp. I could believe that. Pelt is furry. Okay. Can't do recommended equipment on uh, Gory. That's sad. All right, let me look at my inventory now. So I got some other stuff in here. So I have I have stick. Stick is stick, as we've established previously. Uh, bone, bone is bone. We've also established that previously. Beast fang fang is sharp. Okay. We don't know what this does. Now this is an attack. This uh, hurl a rock at an enemy with all your might. Rock is big and hurt when throw. Skin is dry and tough. Okay. We don't have any new abilities now. All right, uh, neat. Let's check out this stuff. Hard rock. <laughs> Stick. Pelt. So like, I am sure that some of the item descriptions are the way that they are um, because we're in prehistoric. That's my suspicion, right? Is that it'll change based on where we're at. I think I just burned myself, um, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. I had to discover fire. It's fine. Uh, let's wander on down to the left here, because this is where elderly Squidbilly went. I hope we invent basketball soon, because that guy can jump. That guy just passed gas to a degree that nearly killed me. That guy fell asleep standing up. Why can't I communicate with this one? This one has an idea. Okay, that one can turn invisible. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking these. I'm thinking these are. Um, 
these are farts. Um, the, 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 mm. the gas that they can pass is so incredible that it uh, lifts them off the ground. <laughs> All right, what about this guy? Kill, kill the elderly squid billy. Maybe, maybe that's, <laughs> that guy can kick. All right, let's go into, uh, let's go into the bone mart. Um, I have bone, um, I have two bone, or three, I don't know. Many stick, some bone. Okay, don't touch his meat any of this. This is not for me. This is not for me. I'm just poking some hay. I don't see anything else in here. I'm still allowed to touch fire, so I'm doing it. I'm just, I never... <laughs> I never stop touching fire. Um, it's a disease. Let's go into uh, horn. Ah, elderly squid billy. First, let me check this shelf. Good. Thank God for a stick. I um, was worried that maybe we wouldn't get enough sticks. Okay, there's a deer and a hammer. Oh, kill the deer because that's how we eat. Yeah, I probably could have figured that out. All right. Yeah, all right. I'm just gonna take a peek up here. Is there anything like sp these are just these fires burn me? I've learned. <laughs> what's in the back room? What's what's? Oh, oh! Don't you go in my back room? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I understand. Um, this is definitely like a private bathroom of some sort. Uh, was there something down here? There's another room. Could be something. Stick. Rock. Hammer. Oh my god, there's item crafting. So combining two different items, you create new potentially useful ones. Experiment with different combinations and see what happens. Okay. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that stick and bone make something. A horn spear. What? Um... Uh, I don't know what you're asking me. Are you asking me if I want these things? The one on the right looks like kill the elder. Do you want to kill the elder? I don't want to kill the elder. I want to, I want to, I don't want to kill the elder. I want to hunt. It's definitely a language barrier. Okay, can you, can you, can you, what if we give you a stick and a hard rock? Can you make, can you make, give me, make me one of them? Strong at, oh shoot, okay, cool. I'm gonna say right this time. Okay, I think that just meant like, maybe that's the symbol for cancel. Maybe that's what, I don't know. Anyway, we got equipment now. Um, new recommended equipment. Horn spear. Stick and horn make spear for stab. It's true. It's more likely than you think. And you can have pelt. Okay, so the other thing I made, I made a strong axe. Which... Okay, so the strong axe increases my physical attack by 10. But it reduces my normal attack by four, and it reduces my speed by six. Interesting. Okay. 
So the strong axe is, of course, strong. But it is not fast. Um, I'm gonna stick with the recommended equipment because I ain't I ain't been in no fights yet, so we'll just stick with this for now. Um, but the crafting system is neat. It also uh, now gives reason to why we have so many stick, and there are so many stick. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything. I mean, we can attempt, right? We can maybe see. Uh, if we can, uh, you know, combine anything. Mbology says, give axe to friend. I think that the, um, I think the inventories are the same. Yeah, the, I, I think he just can't use it. Because whenever I go to the equipment, um, all the items seem to be shared, it seems to be one pool of items, and uh, he doesn't have access to any of these things. I'm gonna try one more time to see if I can uh, combine something else, just for the heck of it. Um, so we have dried skin, right? So if we have dried skins and we add, uh, I don't know, maybe a hard rock, does that, do, does that do something? Does that make some sort of armor? A bang glove. Glove for banging. Uh, let's go ahead and. Um, are there? Is it any combination that was? <laughs> put, 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 put myself. Put my, okay. Stick and beast fang makes sense. But what if we did bone and beast fang? Make this work. I'm almost wondering if like any combination creates something. A pretty flower. That is not what I expected at all. Yeah, I'm done now. I don't have anything else to combine. Okay, so this is uh, some sort of um, something. Pretty flower. Increases special attack and special defense. Cool. Now, can you use these? Like, if I, if, uh, if I were to unequip this, not that I, I necessarily need... Okay, no, we can't even... All right. All right, well then, Pogo, Pogo's basically our dude. Um, Pogo's basically our dude. Wild, man. All right. So this is the way I came. Um, there's one thing I didn't take a look at, and I'm gonna see if they'll let me uh, look at it. Oh yeah, I should check, I should check out my bang glove. <laughs> let me look at my bang glove quick. Oh. Bang glove. Look at that! Straps and straps make glove for wear. Make strong always when wear left hand. That's a huge jump. If I hit recommended equipment, it puts that on, right? Yeah, of course. And again, I'm going to assume that the uh, the ape can't even use it. Um, yeah, so the one thing I didn't do, I didn't try to go right. I just want to see what happens. Okay, so I mean, the one good thing is that we the 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 tribe definitely has a sense of uh, humor. Oh, good bone. Bone and stick would not be the first time that I've encountered bone and stick. I do love a good bone. Do love a good stick. All right, so I believe at this point we have thoroughly uh, looked at all things. So we're ready to leave. Oh, hold on. <laughs> What's this? Oh, this is the exit. Hold on. Well, what's that other dude doing? Let me go talk to the other guy. I thought that was the, guy, the way we were going to have to go. I guess I could have looked at my radar. What are you guarding, dude? Hmm. 
do not go this way. Go the other way. And I'm like, all right, all right. All right. All right, Elder. Okay, so there's a... It's the first case of fog. Oh, I think we're smelling, right? Because it said that we have a, a, an acute sense of smell. Yeah, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm vaguely following. Go this way, all right. Can you let me out? Can you, can you let me out? talk to the elder and not that guy all right elder elder please please elder okay so he left and it's up to it's up to me Pogo and Gory are gonna do oh shut up Gory Press Y. I did it. Tracking smells. Pogo has an extraordinary sense of smell that allows him to hunt game and find other things of interest. Press Y to reveal scent clouds in the vicinity. Okay, so I'm just I'm 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 cruising, I'm doing my own thing, and then I'm like, wait. Let's give a little sniff. What's this? Okay. Oh, I smelled. <laughs> I smelled my elder. Feral pup. We're getting into it. Uh, charge gauge. A charge gauge will appear above allies and enemies that are readying actions. Once this gauge has been completely filled, they will execute the action. Okay. Uh, when controlling allies in battle, you may choose one of several commands. Abilities, which execute attacks, heal yourself, or use other abilities. Items, which is items. Pass, switch to their ally. Wait, allow enemy and ally charges to gradually fill or flee. When selecting abilities and items for use, the area of effect will be displayed. Use this guide to ensure your intended targets will be affected. Incapacitation. When an ally's HP is reduced to zero, they will no longer be able to fight. Restoring any amount of HP will put them back in action. Okay, so it seems as if there's not a concept of 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 death or fainting. Like it's it, it sounds like you don't need like a phoenix down. You don't need a special revive item. Interesting. Okay, so it's just you're either at zero. If you're at zero, you can't do anything, but you can just use normal restore items. Hmm. That that really uh, that really affects. Um, Kind of how you think about battles, because, you know, death is not the end. So that, that can change your strategy in, in an RPG for sure. If an incapacitated ally is damaged further, they will be immediately dismissed from the field. Oh, wait, no, they can die. Dismissed characters cannot rejoin via healing or any other method. Okay, so yeah, uh, mm, all right, so it is kind of important. <laughs> so they don't die upon zero, they get like one extra hit. Got it. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, my gauge is full. And I can move. And as I move, the, the gauges of everyone is are filling up. I can also look at my party status. Um, and I can turn my body. And as I turn my body, that affects the gauge as well. 
Alright. Okay, so let's get... Let's get up here. And then use... Bang Bang. Hit one bad with axe. Or pow, pow Kick. Hit Kick one bad with foot, which... Damage is low, but at least this hits twice, right? So that seems better. Oh dear God, that 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 pup exploded. Okay, uh, so let's go down here and bang slap this guy. So the gauges are filling up. Here's a question. If I use Pow Kick, can I choose two targets, or is it it's probably just one target? Threaten. So Threaten did something. Um, icon Guide. Yeah. It was, uh... What was that? What was that? <laughs> I think it's just my physical attack is down. I think it just lowers my physical attack. I believe that's what's happening. Alright, let's move. And then just um, hit it. Bang slap. You are victorious. You have obtained bone. We didn't have enough enough bone before. Okay. You obtained a haunch of meat. Let's take a look at our haunch. Inventory. Haunch of meat. Big meat on bone. Restore a moderate amount of HP to self and enhance all attributes. Okay. Well, let's keep moving around. Let's sniff a little. Okay. So, you do a sniff, you get a big cloud, you go up to the big cloud, it tells you what it is, and then there's tiny clouds that show up. And the tiny clouds, like, could be nothing? Or could be a fight. Is is kind of how I'm 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 witnessing you know what's what's going on. All right, let's do let's try bang bash. So I want to try to get an idea. Oh, that one's gauge filled up. It's gauge fast. I got I got several things down. Oh no probably accuracy and then another thing <laughs> uh, hurt many bad with surprise boo well if I move down here oh it's like oh it's a, it's six squares I understand okay all right let's try this scare face Gives him a lot of status ailments too. It's a really interesting battle system. Um, all right, so I did 46 with Bang Bash. Let me just check how much damage I'm doing with Pow Kick, so I'm tracking it. Yeah, it's so much more. So Bang Bash, I don't know, makes a whole lot of sense to to do. Um, it's going to be based on like. Uh, the damage type, right? Because one is blunt damage and one is agile damage. Oh, you missed! I can't believe you've done this. Got him. We're kicking dogs until they explode. Um, that's just how they did it in prehistoric era. 
So we're getting more more meat, um, which I mean is good. Uh, also, we still have plenty of health, and we're getting close to uh, leveling up for uh, Pogo, which seems good. Let me read a few of these because uh, I have been engrossed in the game. We got 34 months from Andrew in the kitchen. We got 24 months from Josh Jepson. Congrats on the two. Also, hi Josh. Uh, Fossix gifted a sub to Tom Fox. Uh, we also had 42 months from Seesaw24. 24 months from ZZJet64. That's a two. And an anonymous gifter gifted a sub to a bone. Thanks, I have I have several. I have several bones. Several bones. Um, so the so the interesting thing about this is that it looks like you're free to explore the map without running into enemies if you want. Like if you don't want to fight enemies, I don't believe you really have to because like, oh no, wait, there are random encounters. I just had a random encounter. Oh, okay. I was starting to wonder. I was starting. I was. I was starting to wonder. Um. Okay, let me just do this. Oh, this one can bite. Twenty-three damage. Yikes! Can I get to the other one before it does some? Yes. Bang slap. Very strong. This one's biting me again. Joke's on you, I got so much meat. I can just eat meat. You missed. I'm here to bang slap you. Did it. Alright, so level two. Uh, big gains. 33 HP. That's big. Five physical attack, three physical defense. Another bone. So much bone. Okay, so I've 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 done three fights, and now I think my my character's like, oh, I should return to the elder because I've got so much meat. I'm gonna bring meat back for the uh, for everyone. And yeah, that's fine. So the fights are random. I actually thought it was just related to the sniffing, but apparently not. Apparently there are random encounters. <laughs> Now the Elder will love me. Oh, and we're not going back out there. We're not, we're not going back out there. Um, so here's, here's the thing. Uh, there's not save, okay, you save from the main menu. So if you want to save, you have to go main menu and then say save. Because I haven't saved yet. I haven't really f felt like I was in danger, but you know. Let's go see the elder in his special elder spot. Did you bring me the deer meat? Yes. Do you know how to sniff the deer? Yes. Can I go in here yet? No, no you cannot. Okay. 
All right. Huh. What do you want me to do, game? I, I acquired... Oh, I gave him my... Oh, I don't have the, the meat anymore. I gave him the meat. Oh, so I gave him the meat. So the meat's been given to him. Um... All right. Do I have anything else I can build? I don't think so. No. Okay. Hmm. Also, all the all the folks are gone. You notice that? That's interesting. And I have a new marker, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head towards my my marker. He wants me to go back in my own home. We had, a, we had a hard day. We had a hard day and we we went out and we we kicked um, about 12 feral pups until they exploded and uh, we got some meat and gave it to the elder and that, that's a full day. That's a full day. Oh no, where is Gory? I will sniff for him. It is the scent of Gory. Okay, so they're really, they're really trying to make sure I understood that because I need to find him. Which I haven't found him yet. This guy is sleepwalking. All right. Um, he wants me to go left, so I'll just go left. And I'll, I'll sniff for my good friend, Gory, along the way. There are scents coming out of here that are... Hmm, we don't know what they are. Flowers? There's a flowery scent. What are you doing, buddy? I'll punch you in the mouth. Okay, so now we're back together. I think... Yeah, I think Gory came out here and ate one, maybe. And then got tired and fell asleep. All right. What? And you're asleep. I think I I need to go back. It's still my objective. It's like I missed him. You obtained bone. Who's there? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this person. And by almost, I mean completely. I can't even get to the one in the rear. Which one are you hiding in? Stop doing this. Did you go? <sighs> All right, I'm leaving. <gasps> Unless Gory eats you. Oh wait, I can sniff. I should sniff. The scent of a flower. Uh, 
Um, bone? Bone is bone. Stick. She probably wants food. I did it. I took the food. Haunch of meat. Do a sniff. Did you eat it? You feel better now? Ma'am, are you okay? Do you, do you need bone? Because we have so many bone. I see you've met my associate, Gory. We're a friendly lot. Um, friendly lot. We have discovered love. New record of 13 seconds. Oh, okay. Are you in my party now? You are in my party now. How did I discover names? Baru. Baru has immense special attack and defense. Uh, Gory is dead. Gory is dead. Gory? Gory? Gory is alive. Okay. Uh, hmm. So my first thought is that you definitely need this more than I do because uh, you are someone who uses special attack and special defense. When I do recommended equipment, it gives you bone. Uh, for as we know, bone is bone and stick is stick and bone is better than stick. And you don't have any new recommendations. All right. Uh, do you? No. Okay. Uh, let me let me let me learn your moves. What you what what, what can you do? Bam bam bam. Hit one bad with club many time. Hmm. Kick kick. All right. Cool. Should we see the elder? Should be like, yo, elder. Look what I got. Elder's not even here. Who's gonna stop me from going in here now? My conscience? That is not what I expected to happen. Oh, he is very angry. Listen, listen. She's with me. You forbid it. Well, guess what? I forbid you. What about that, bud? Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ejected from the tribe. In fairness, I didn't look um like anyone else in the tribe, I seem pretty unique. Oh, he was imagining what would happen. Okay, that's what will happen if the Elder finds out, which the Elder cannot find out. And the Elder lives in there. That's his special bedroom, so we can't do that. The other shops are almost certainly closed. So let's go back to my place. No, let's not. Let's not do that. Hmm. Let's 
Gonna move this guy. Heavy sleepers. Okay. Something tells me we ain't going that way, okay? And I can't I can't even okay, we can't even go that way. So this this is no, this ain't gonna this ain't gonna work. We have to escape. We gotta escape, we gotta leave. We gotta leave. Um which is gonna be hard because this is the way out. Hmm. It's telling me to go back to Bone Land. Um Okay, I'm, I'm here in Bone Land. Ah, a disguise. A classic Bone Land disguise. Ah, yes. And here we see the... The world's first instance of tactical espionage. Um, so now I could probably probably at least get some sleep because hay bales are trustworthy. Hey, move. Me and Gory and this walking hay bale need to get some sleep. Yeah, I'll punch you. Look at that wall. Look at all these walls. Look at them. My IQ is 18, and your IQ is only 4. Alright, in, in we go. Okay, so we are here. It's time to sleep. I mean, I understand giving up your bed, but I don't understand kicking out Gory for his bed. <laughs> what well, a gentleman Pogo is. Please, Baru, take my bed. I insist. And I will take Gory's. He's just an ape. Has no true feelings. It's not, it's not a problem. Gory passes out a, a lot. Um. Hmm, something's going down. Not who you expected. <laughs> hmm, where is Baru? Baru? Are you in there? Oh, thank God you are. Coming. Yeah, what's up? Uh huh. Meat. Yeah, what about what about meat? Do I want any meat? No, I'm good. Thanks. I'm full. Full of meat. Mmm. Love meat. Love bone. Love stick. Full of sticks. Full of bone. 
Is he gone? Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Female woman that I love because I've never seen a female woman before. Um, can I interest you in meat? Is that possible? Are you dead? You're alive. There's part of me that wonders if you don't poke them. If you leave Gory on the ground, does Gory just stay on the ground? Can you just... <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, uh, I just want to play with one character, actually. So, you're probably not going to come out until we get meat, right? Is that... That's the that's the whole shtick. Or no, you're gonna come out. Oh, you you will only come out for you come out for bone. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I get it. I I also uh, retreat to my room until food is presented to me. Um, it's very typical. Uh, so that's the objective. But I have to get some meat first. Oh, you're are you dead? You okay, bud? It's doing all right. Uh, is there another place I can get meat other than the the meat shop? Is there some meat in here? There is not. Part of me wants to play that that game, um, that little mini game, like a hundred times because they just keep giving you all this free stuff. Hi everybody. Yep, it's just me, uh, Pogo and Gory, my trusty um, ape friend. And you know what? Definitely not any uh, any uh, female humans. That is not a thing. Oh, there's no meat in here. Oh god. I need secret meat. Is there meat here? Do I? So do I have to go get meat? I guess I have to go get her some meat. Because it's letting me leave. So I'm gonna do it. It's not my current objective, but like my current objective needs meat. <laughs> so I gotta do it. Hey, can you let me out of here? Can you let me out of here? Can you let me out of here? Thanks, really appreciate it. All right, let's do some sniffing. Sniff, 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 sniff. I... Ooh, something new! We got some Goku boars. Alright, Super Saiyan boars. Uh, let's... Pow kick them. Got them. Mm, I need to I need to move up one. Hit him. He did not die. Here comes a headbutt. We're good. Kick him. I missed both! Oh shoot! Biting fangs! What? What are you trying to pull? Come here. Hit him, Gory. Oh my god, why is he- why is this such an agile- What is happening? Okay, I'm going to get behind this son of a gun. No, I'm not. I can't go that way. Okay. Uh, bang bash. Let's try the bang bash. Good. Good. Did we get meat? We didn't get any meat! Which is bad for two reasons. Like, for one, I need to give that, that girl some meat. The other problem is that I need meat to live. Alright. Hey, hey, let me sniff this. Yep. Sniff. Sniff it. There's something on the map. 
trying to... I think that's maybe trying to tell me this is meat. Are you meat? Trihorn Stag and Trihorn Doe. Hey, this is kind of like what we were actually looking for, for realsies. All right, I'm gonna kick you. It did not kill you, but you did get kicked. Uh, my associate will be um, ending your life now. Get him, Gory. Got him. Worked out well pretty well. Oh, it draws ever nearer. I think I attacked the wrong square, but it still worked. Got him. Oh dear. Alright, now this I think is gonna give me that- Oh, I leveled up! These- again, these- Oh my god, I learned Stench Poot! If there was ever any doubt that the tribe excelled in flatulence, I think we've just... We've solidified that it does. That is what this... That's what they were doing. Those were farts. So if you doubted that, now you know. It's a wind attack, because of course it is. Turn back on many bad and hurt with big poot. Charge time short, damage low, penetrating. Oh. Statuses. Is that paralysis and poison? That would be my guess. Yeah, that is paralysis and poison. Gross. Um, did we get any meat? We did not get any meat. <sighs> Why didn't we get any meat? Uh, we had 36 months from Motion Dan. Thank you, Dan. Congrats on your three. We also had 31 months from Toa Smoke Monster. Thanks. Alright, so, um... I need to go to the bathroom quick. It'll be like a minute. I don't know if the couch can talk in this house. We've never seen any evidence of that. So I'm actually not sure if it can. But if it can, I'm sure that you'll find out um, in the next 60 seconds. I will be literally right back.
Okay. I knocked over a thing. It's fine. Uh, hi. I'm 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 back. I, I did I did mention that it would be brief. I hope uh Couch misses the green blanket. Oh well <laughs> couch is gone. well, um that I happen to know where that is. Also I will need that for tonight. If anyone's just joining us, as a reminder, uh this is just a, like a little extra stream that I'm doing to check out Live Alive. We're still doing Pokemon tonight, and we do have to have the green uh, blanket for Pokemon. Along with, that, that I know where that is. That's in that's in my office. Um, <laughs> I do not yet have, I do not yet have the other thing that I need. I'll figure, I'll get it, I'll get it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine and good also. It's gonna be fine and good. 36 months from Bella Bunny. Congrats on the three. Okay, so, uh, where were we? We were looking for meat. Cat's gone, so I got the thing in my, my, my lap now. We weren't having any problem getting meat earlier. But now we are. Pockers. Hey. What's up, Poggy? Uh, 3,000 bits from Bella Bunny. It says, work just let me off three hours early to enjoy the weekend. Poggers. That's pretty nice. Like, three hours early? That's, that is, that is substantial. That's not a little, like, 30 minute leave early. That's, like, three hours. I, I, I do believe that that is the textbook definition of poggers. Bella, um, first off, congrats again on the three. And thank you for the 30, 36 months of support. And also, enjoy the weekend. You get to enter into it a little bit sooner. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't if you haven't seen Poggy before, it is surprising. <laughs> I think surprising is the best way to describe that. Like, oh, that uh, appeared on my screen. There we go. Following that little eye. Following that little eye. Oh, we also have a mammoth cat. There's so many uh, things to hopefully extract meat from. Oh my god, this. Oh, I gotta try stench poot. If I go here, I should be able to stench poot. <laughs> All of them. All right, let's stench poot. Let's stench poot. Stench poot. I'm sorry. There is something that is very, very funny about farting with such force that the creature just explodes. Um, it does bring me joy. Uh, it, it really does. All right, let's take care of this thing since it's almost gone anyway. The feral pup is running. You want to get stench pooed again? So that's a, so that's the interesting thing, right? Is like there's no sense of magic power. Uh, like these are just your list of attacks that you can use. Um, I'm like, I want to, I want to stench poot again. Oh, he moved out of the way. Oh, cause my, I wasn't ready for this. Ah, okay. Cause my stench poot wasn't quite prepared. All right, we got, can we, can we get, can we get some meat? Haunch of meat. We got there. We have obtained Haunch of Meat. We have obtained... We have obtained Haunch of Meat. Let me back in. Okay. 
We also had 45 months from Jam. Jam Meepler. Jam, thank you. Appreciate it. We are now heading back. <laughs> we, are, we are basically in Arby's. We have the meats. Shout out to Playhouse. Uh, how long will the stream be? Um, I've been told that it, it might be possible to actually get through the entire prehistoric section. That would be great. I would love to maybe finish one of the timelines. That would be fantastic. But we will see what happens. Haunt me. You love meat. Oh my goodness. The triple kiss? Alright, cool. <laughs> Just, you gotta, you, you, you know, you gotta keep your partner fed. That's what it's about. You keep them fed, and everything else just falls into place. So, will something happen now? Because now the, the objective is pointing me back out. Oh no, now I'm going this way. Ooh, I get to go this way. What's going on here? Oh, he gave me a punch. Oh, that's bad. We just got uh, run over. Oh, no. Are you... Should I check on you? Are you okay, dude? He's not okay. Not okay. Um, well, I'm thinking about it. Save my game, because I, I I I believe that something's about to go down. Do you often give haunches of meat to mouth? I mean, it's more like bags of chips and cookies, but yeah, essentially. A neighboring a neighboring tribe of gingers. Oh my goodness, he just picked him up like nothing. Alright, what's up? Listen, there's one, one got the pink hair. They're not here. No, pink hair. Hey. Hey, boss. I found him. <laughs> they were here. Oh, so the elder genuinely didn't know, so the elder's gonna be real surprised. Listen, I didn't know nothing about this. Yeah, this might not, um... This might not go well. Okay, well, I'm... I'm, I'm ready for a, a fight. <laughs> Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. But first, you have to fight our five cars. Prehistoric Theft Auto. That's right, I'm the hero. It's me, Pogo. Earning kisses wherever I go, go. I think the Elder's gonna be mad. Uh 
Uh-huh. Yeah. The girl. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. Why did we hit Gory? <laughs> Why did we hit Gory? We hit Gory a lot! <laughs> Starting to feel really bad for Gory. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We are definitely going to fart our way to victory. Alright, we are surrounded. Okay... Okay, so let's 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 take a minute to assess um, what what's going down. All of their meters are pretty low, so we're all going to get a chance to go before they do. Um, I think. If I move down here, here, yeah, I need to, yeah, I can hit both of them from here. So let's start with a stench poot this way, because that's a two for one deal. Yeah, let's go for that. It's pretty good damage. Didn't get any status ailments, but that's all right. Um, and I've got Scareface, which also hits multiple targets. Let's do that and see, may maybe I can get them completely down too. Scareface. Actually didn't kill that one, okay. So what do you do? You've got Bam 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 and you've got Kick Kick in a diamond shape, okay. Interesting, but it's a medium. It's a medium hit, so let's go this way, and then try this out. Kick, kick. Not as great as I was expecting it to be. Oh, that's extremely bad. Huh. Okay. Brew's alive with one HP, but is gonna need some help. Okay, uh, let's see. I wonder if the one in above me is going to move towards her or move towards Gory. And I'm not sure. Bone Bash. Or you're doing great. Bombash from downtown. All right, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, I'm gonna finish this off. Uh, let's do pow kick just for safety. Yeah. That's bad. That's not good. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um. Bang slap this dude. Got him. Okay. Here comes the bone toss. I gotta be careful, man. This is getting dangerous. Bone toss to her is not good! So she's downed. Um, but we don't have any items. So I'm gonna bang bash this dude, and this really needs to work. Thankfully, it did. Alright, bud, you... It's probably more important to make sure that I kill this dude, so this is done. Bang, slap! Huh. Yeah, I don't have any way to revive her. Um... Pass and then bang slap this dude. Bang slap! Yes! Got him! And she's back up. Still receives experience for that. So even if you end the battle, as long as you aren't dismissed from the battle, it, it works out. 
So, uh, oh my god, Gory learned poop throw. Yes! It's exciting. Otherwise, it became big and strong. Peru also leveled up and learned sing heal, which seems real helpful. Of course, if she goes down, then that doesn't help me very much. I believe they have retreated. Oh, we're doing another one. Did it refill our health, or is she gonna start with zero? Zaki. Okay, it refilled our health. That's very kind of it. Because it would have been very hard. <laughs> would have been very hard otherwise. Um, okay. I'm too far away for a stench poot. I like the, you know, the potential of status ailments happening, right? Like that, that seems good to me. I'm just gonna move a little closer. I don't know if that actually changes anything, but we'll, we'll try. Uh, get some poison in on that, yeah. Of course, she might move. That's the only thing, she might move before I get there. Poop throw. Hurt many bad with smelly poop. Let's move up one, what are you gonna do? Fly, lizard, fly. A lot of damage. Here comes the stench poot. But unfortunately, no status ailments. All right, let's throw. Let's throw some dookie. Let's throw some dookie. Poop throw. Oh, nice. Gory's taking some damage. Okay, um, now you can heal, and that's real good. Can you... Rip, rip. Sing heal. Heal HP all friend with woo woo big cheer. All friend? Okay, that's good. That's really good. It also it looks like it increased my attack power or something. Okay, um... So you're just like... Over there. Sitting in the poison. Seems stupid. So the pow kick also hits them back. Which is a difference. Okay, um... Do anything? Hurt many bad with surprise boo. She's in the square. So like should work. Just no status ailments happening though. That's the only that's the only downside. Alright, let me move here because this I think will heal all of us. Yeah. Alright. And make us stronger. Um, I d so here's the interesting thing. I'm not. I don't. It looks like I don't take poison damage going into because it was a friend that made the poison square. I think. The answer to that is no. Oh, Zaki's a dude. Oh, I, I was unaware. Also, if you walk into a poison tile, it doesn't matter. Poison tile is poison tile. Uh, you learn something every day. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, cow fist. This could hurt. It did as one might expect it to. I'm gonna walk into this and slap Zaki. Oh, shoot! 
Oh, shoot! Big yikes. Big yikes. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Bone is bone, stick is stick, poison is poison. Alright, let's end this. Um, I'm sorry, was that a lizard inside of a human suit? Was that what that was? Because that certainly looked like, anyway, sleep trick, that seems good. Alright. A lizard loincloth. Yeah, I'm probably in trouble. Yeah, mm hmm. She is not allowed here. Please? No. Not allowed. No. Not allowed at all. Okay, but pretty please. No. I said no. I'm angry at, at these guys, so like get tell get them to go away. I'm translating. You're 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 welcome. <laughs> if you just needed to know what was happening, I got you. So we're past the fence. We have, we have been exiled. Well, crap. That's not great. So let's take a look here. Uh, our equipment obviously hasn't changed. We didn't get any new equipment. I do like the recommended equipment button because that you could just very quickly and easily hit the button and then and then you're good. Uh, inventory. Huge staunch of meat. Restored a large HP to all allies within an area and remove all detrimental status effects. You know what I find really interesting is that you cannot use this outside of battle. Hmm. Can you use... Yeah, you cannot do any of that. So you need to get your, like, healing and stuff um, in during a fight. Okay. Sleep trick. Make one bad. Go sleep with Wave Club. Okay. Alright, that was a hard fight. I'm a save game. We can sniff. If we need to get supplies to live. Meat. Yes, meat. Where is meat? You obtained huge haunch of meat. What? So sometimes you're sniffing out fights. Sometimes you're just sniffing out food. Oh my god, elephant bowl. Oh. 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 Okay. Can I put him to sleep? Well, he's... Hold on. He is weak. To blunt damage, so this might be a good opportunity for me to to actually work on one of his weaknesses. It's actually convenient too because you can see that his weakness illuminates in the bottom left, which is cool. So is he in that zone? Am I gonna hit him there? I think so. And he says he's vulnerable. Bang bash. Let's try this. Oh dear God.
I... <laughs> um... Yeah, let's do this. Poop throw! I'm gonna kind of be standing in my own poop. Yeah, I'm definitely standing in my own poop. Stomp. Oh god. Oh god, gory. It's fine. We're fine. We're doing fine. Um, we need to do a little, uh, a little sing heal here. Mostly for myself. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Deathkill says, this is a smart elephant taking out your healer first. Uh, it, it's true. I can't argue with that. Uh, I can still hit you from here, right? I can. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put you to sleep. I don't know that. But I'm not sure, and I know that the, getting the vulnerable damage in is probably more worthwhile, so let's just go for that. Stomp, stomp. Gory's like, I'm really not appreciating this. Uh, let's not go for another poop throw. The, 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 the ground is still poison. Let's, let's just try and get a little damage in, because Gory's strong. Wow, that's really not... Not a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep healing. The fact that I can heal for free, there's no, there's no concept of magic points. Like, I'm just gonna work on that. And I can continue to do damage to you. Just a little more. Oh, here comes the Trunk Lash, but she is outside of the range. Alright, it's over. Yeah, exactly. There's the... Like, she can do damage, and, um... You know, if you really needed to do that, you could, but, like, why not just... If you're getting hit all the time, and she is... Especially if she's in an area where she's not getting hit... Like, yeah, just keep healing. Uh, poke bind learned. Okay. <laughs> Leveling up. Gory's almost uh, leveled up, too. So, you're, you start every battle with full health. That was something that I wasn't 100% sure on, but now I'm, I'm, I feel is, is exactly what's happening. You just start every battle at full health. Which is why you can't heal between battles. Everything resets at the beginning of a battle. So. I, don't, I have no idea. Tom asked, was that in the original or is that a quality of life change? It's That seems fairly integral to the how the game works. So... Yeah, folks are saying, I believe it was in the original. It was in the original. Okay, yeah. So it's just a take on... It's it's it, it's a little different than most RPGs, but there's there's other games that, that do that. Uh, okay, let's save again. Um, we didn't get anything, right? No. All right. So, I want to continue to level up because we're... Oh, I didn't check what Pokebind did. I want to check what that does. Pokebind. Attack. Hurt one bad with vines and poke. The status is uh, paralysis. Okay. Let me maybe get in another fight here. Sniff, sniff. Food. Yeah, let's get some food. I mostly want Gory to- Oh my god! <laughs> Josh says, eat thine self. Yeah, this- okay. I think I might have to run. Be honest because I don't think I can 
Because knowing how difficult it was to defeat the elephant bull, and there's these little lion things I have never seen before, um, I think I'll, I think I will lose. I think I will, I think I will, I mean, I might not lose, but I think I would lose. Um, I'm gonna, I haven't used Flea yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Flea. You managed to escape. That's good. We fought, uh, some of the baby mammoths. We, we fought one of those earlier with a group of, um, so is that still the same fight? Like, is that, like, if I wanted to get into the same fight again, I could? Is that what that smell is? Anyway. Alright, this we'll try. Okay, so I don't know anything about these guys. Um, so they have weaknesses to... Oh, they have weaknesses to sleep! Or magic or something, I don't know. Let's do sleep. Yeah, okay, let's try it. Haven't used it yet. The ostriches are the ones that are vulnerable, but that's not the one that fell asleep. Okay. Sure. Um... Also vulnerable to Scareface. Uh, let's try Scareface. Vulnerable. Got some status ailments. Alright, so... Yeah, we need to heal. Um, I'm gonna move... I'm not, I think just in general getting closer to the guys is not a bad idea, so... I'm, mo I, I'm only healing myself, I don't think anyone else is taking damage. Mm. And of course it increases our, uh, our attack power too. Okay, so... I did my sleep trick over there. Um, and that one's the one that's vulnerable to sleep. That's dumb. <laughs> Part of me wants to try it again, because if I could have, like, two of the three asleep, I would just focus on the other ostrich. Let me try it again. Alright, whatever. Um... gonna hit it. I'm just gonna hit it. See what this does. That was fairly effective. Uh, and I'm in a I'm in a unique uh, situation right now where I don't have to heal. So let's do bam 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 or kick kick. So this is low damage, but it hits four times, and this is medium damage. We tried this earlier, and it wasn't really that ex that exciting. I think I'm gonna try Bam Bam Bam. It's 41 damage, it's fine. Tantrum, oh god. Alright, I should be able to take this thing out relatively easily now. Let's do Bang Bash. Done. All right, cool. Got it. I'm really glad that guy has stayed asleep this whole time. I <laughs> didn't really expect him to be asleep this long, but like, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's scary face. Yo, where are your status ailments at? Uh, let's go ahead and do a heal. And... Hmm... I 
that's, you know, maybe killing it with a fart, just to, you know, just to prove a point. Let me move over here. Uh... Okay. Resistant? Oh, I hate that. Hmm. Let's just try this. Eight. Oh god, I don't like gore. 37. Here comes the stench poot. Miss. Oh fun. Oh good. We're still fine. We're still fine. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this. Okay. One enemy to worry about. Gory is getting gored again. I was try I was trying to assert dominance with the fart. It did not. Uh, it did not work out like I I had wanted it to. Um. Yeah, let's 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 drop some poop. Okay, and then I don't want to step in that if I can get around it. Uh, sleep trick worked wonders last time. I should do that again. There's also poke bind, but I have to be really close for that. So let's yeah, let's let's sleep trick. Didn't put them back to sleep though. Time to heal. I'm letting Gore just sit in the poison. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Ground pound. Oh shoot! He gives himself stat boosts. Well, that sucks. Put him back to sleep. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Come on! It worked before! Sleep again! You're resistant to that. Let's try Scary Face? Maybe get some of your attributes to go away? Nope. Well, a little bit. I'm gonna have to walk over there and actually, like, physically hit him. Sure. slowly killing this thing just through poison, although I guess now I won't because it's all gone. Um, Alright, let's let's end this. You are vulnerable to pow kick. Well then you're getting kicked. Done. Done. You are victorious. And we got a haunt of meat. We also had 38 months from BL Rasmu. Appreciate it. Researching the game for personal for personal reason. It's uh it's it's good. It's good. I mean it's you know it's a specific type of game, but I actually I kinda like the uh I kinda like the take on the combat, to be honest. I'm I wanna keep going through prehistoric because I've been told that we can probably get through it in a stream, and that makes me happy. Um, but, oh, we can't be that? <laughs> what? Am I going too slow? <laughs> I'm being told we can't get through it. <laughs> All right. Well, crap. I want to see, I... I'm not the most speedy RPG player, but well. It could be correct. Um, okay. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, there's there's all sorts of different uh, takes on, oh my god, who, are you a friend? Do you want to be my friend? 
Oh, this is how we do thing. This guy creates mm -hmm. the stuff. But we already have done bone and stick. We have leather straps, but we, you know, that's not... That's not anything we haven't done before. Oh, have we done bone and... I don't know if we've done bone and bone. If we do bone... Oh, they have to be different items. That's it. Okay, so you can't combine the same item. I mean, leather strap and bone might do something. I don't know. Angry bone. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, angry bone. So it brings your speed down, but it brings your attack up. And it is recommended to use the angry bone. Okay. Then I will. I will use angry bone. Well, I don't know. That seems good. There's some little flies around, but I think they're just atmospheric. So we're ultimately heading this direction. There's a lot of stuff to experience. And again, we don't have to sniff out battles. Like, battles can just happen. So I'm kind of expecting... Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to get into... To one. Hmm. Can we? Can we fight these? We probably can. We probably can. Hmm. Change target. I want to see what these things are weak against. So we already know about bison cow. You should kick bison cows. They die. Bison bulls are also... You should also kick them. Okay, so we'll just kick all these guys. Kick. Immediate explosion. Now you don't know how to kick. God bless you. Um, are these worse than the? Are the bulls worse than the cows? Maybe. I'll throw some poop in the corner. Seems like a good use of my time. Now this... Uh, uh, can I kick you from here? I totally can. Cool. That's what I wanted. Not enough to kill you. Let's fight this one, because I might be able to get this one on one go. I was not! Okay. Sure, let's see if this will do anything. Yeah, yeah, we get some status sandwiches. Might be able to end this quick. Y'all know that y'all just sitting in the the goop, right? What if we throw more poop? Just an idea. Just you know, we have poop, but we, we throw more. This guy's gonna die from poison tile damage. Uh, mm, okay, I can't quite get to you. You are far away now. I'll just 
go ahead and sing. Probably kill him. We did it. We got two level ups. We jump. We learned we jump. Just a we jump. Abilities. A we jump. Hit one bad with big jump bash. Damage medium. Make sure, uh, and make sure allies slower. Huh. So that's like something you gotta, something you gotta think about. Oh god. Let's try it. It's one of the weaknesses. Oh, snap! That was half of your health. Dang, man. And you're vulnerable to poop, too. Here, have some poop. What else are you vulnerable to? Uh, vulnerable to? Actually, I'm just... I know we jump is a bit of a misnomer. We we leapt very high into the air. I would do another one of these in a heartbeat. It does massive damage. We're start we're starting to become a force to be reckoned with, um, for sure. We're leveling up our guys. We learned I think it said stink poot. Before I hit the button. Hold on, let me, I want to see this. Abilities. Stink poot. Is it the same? Oh, this is stench poot. Pogo knows stench poot. Gory knows stink poot. That's, a, that's medium damage. And this is low damage, but penetrating. We're learning, a, we're, we're learning a lot, and it does. It removes, uh, lowers the attack also. Should I save before I go into this cave? Probably. I'm gonna save. All right, now we can walk in into the cave. You're so angry at me. And also at Baru. And now you must find them. The poor guy's gotta Oh, he doesn't get to come. Oh he does. Oh, if you just would have waited like five seconds, I'm like I'm coming in now. Can we tell that the fire is was there a minute ago? Yeah, I think we're hungry. Oh. <laughs> 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 kind of 
kind of ruined a romantic moment when you um when you blow up the camp um, with your fart. That's not really a not typically a romantic gesture. Gory's dead. We'll laugh about it. His charred carcass at the mouth of the cave makes us chuckle. Oh, Gory. Suddenly, flowers. I think we were having a, a, a dream. Yo, Gore, are you still dead? I need you to be not dead now. Oh, God. Gory? Gory? All right, well... <laughs> Oh, shoot. What's up, Zacky? You want me to be dead. I want you to be dead. We will fight to the death. So one on one's gonna be hard. I don't have a healer. Um, I do have some food, though. I do have some potions. It also en enhances my, my attributes. Um, alive. It's alive. I'm hoping I stay alive, personally. We have 46 months from Reed the Nintendo Painter. And 300 bits from Reed who says, And now for your weekly Inspirebot quote, A six pack is a badge of honor. Like the ability to drink an entire six pack? Because that, that might be a lot. Also, you know, aside from the <laughs> possible um, trajectory into alcoholism, you just have to pee a lot. That's just a lot of, it's a lot of pee. So anyway, um, so from this distance, I can sleep trick. Um... I don't have a good read. I don't know if this will work, but I think I'm I'm so far away. Okay, that did not really do what I wanted it to do. It's fine. Um, I could do this with the understanding that he'll probably walk into it. Right? Or will it happen immediately because my bar is charged? I think it happens immediately. Hmm. Let me take a step forward. So then I'll feel better about it. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh, I got, ooh, I got some poison damage on him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, you don't have any weaknesses. Hurt one bad with vines and poke. I wanna hurt you with vines and poke. Let's try this sucker out. 37. And paralyzed. Poison and paralyzed. Oh, snap. Can I get paralysis again on this? Damn. 
I did not. Okay. Um, I gotta, I gotta make some distance to do the Wii jump. Hmm. Let's do the pow kick to get you away from me. There's a rock back. If I move up one space, then I can Wii Jump onto your face. Some serious damage. Although I'm still in the line of fire here. Um, although I can Wii Jump you again, and I definitely will. <laughs> no reason to not completely abuse my most powerful... Uh, attack. Okay. And you're dead. Did not level up, but that's okay. idea. Gory, who is dead... <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm sorry about all the times that I've completely wrecked you, but, um, I need you to open this. No, 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 no. You're doing it all wrong. Oh god. You know what? I think Pogo kind of deserved that. So, I think that's that thing it's fair. I think it's fair. We did it. All right, let me see what's beyond this beyond this door. Oh, they they got her. Save me, Pogo. I will save you, Baru. Oh my god, a hole. It was a trap. Gory is confused by the concept of holes. And thinks it's a amusement park, so he jumps into. Okay, well, you know. Hole is hole. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, I'm in my I'm in my my own head again. I'm still in the cave. I'm definitely still in the cave. Gory is gone. Baru is gone. I'm just forever stuck in Flowerland. Can I sniff? I can sniff. But does anything happen when I sniff? And the answer is no. Baru? Baru, wait! Baru, I love you. Please. Oh no, <laughs> you're actually gory. <laughs> A 
as it turns out, we were not in a field of flowers. We were, of course, just in a cave. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stop here because uh, I am gonna have to start getting set up for Pokemon later tonight. I also have to find stuff that I have not found in boxes. Um, I've been told that this is probably about halfway. So this is about half of the prehistoric section of the game. And then, of course, there's a bunch of other storylines, too. Uh, this is really neat. I, so you know what this reminds me of? And this, this might be, this might be a, a strange comparison, but I think you'll understand what I'm, what I'm going for. This reminds me of Time Splitters, which is strange, right? Because Time Splitters is a first-person shooter. But one of the things that I really, really love about Time Splitters is that every single level is like a different shooting game. Every single level is a different environment with different enemies and different uh, guns. And Time Splitters is one of my favorite series because of that. It's so unique. Live Alive is the same concept. It's like you've got all of these like small RPGs that I'm assuming as you play more, you find out that they're all interlinked, but like you get to change up like your characters and all this stuff. So like, I want to, I really want to play more of this. Um, so I, I plan to, I, I think I'm going to come back to this. I, I want to finish off the, pre the prehistory part, but I'd also love to see some of the other, um, the other stuff. And these seem relatively short. Like if we got through half of prehistory today, I mean, these are, you know, they're, 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 they're tiny. Um, yeah. <laughs> Live Alive is Time Splitters, but make it Octopath Travel. Yeah! Yeah. I think that's fair. Um, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed this. So let me make sure I save. And we played, yeah, just about two hours. Um, cool. Cool. Yeah, this is, this is a neat concept. So there's seven stories. I thought there was eight, but maybe there's just seven. The write-up that I got from Nintendo said there were uh, there were seven. Um, maybe there's a secret eighth one or something. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll I'll try and uh, make some carve out some time to do like another solo stream at some point in the near future, just so I can play a little more of this because like this is uh, um, this is neat. <laughs> Carl the says you definitely made me more interested in the game. So job well done. So like it's. It's interesting, right? Because like Nintendo and other companies, they send games my way, and there's no real guarantee that I'm going to like it. Um, and I'm not always willing to play stuff if I don't think I'm at least going to kind of like it. But like this is this is an interesting title because this actually is really appeal uh, appealing. Um, I've played games that Nintendo sent in the past, and it's like, okay, yeah, you know, maybe it's not for me, but it has merit, and like someone else is going to enjoy it. But this game, I'm like, no, this game's kind of like for me. Like, I actually really like this. And I like the combat system. Um, I think the combat system and the idea of, like, there's, there's no sense of, of magic points and uh, you, your, your health refills after every battle. So it's like you're really just focused on that specific fight. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I want to play more. Anyway, uh, okay, I'm, I'm done for now. Thanks for being here. As a reminder, we are going to be back in three hours. Three hours. We'll be back in three hours. Three and a half. Three to three and a half. Uh, me and Mal will be returning to Pokemon Let's Go. Um, we were... We had just finished getting Articuno, so we're, like, on our way to um, Cinnabar. So that's kind of where we're picking up today. So we're going to be going to whatever... The, there's a dungeon there. I don't remember what it's called. It's like Cinnabar Mansion, is that what it is? Where you can find some Pokemon Mansion. So there's going to be some more, uh, some like new catches and stuff tonight, so it should be really fun. But uh, I've got some equipment i got to find, so I'm going to work on that. Have a great evening if I don't see you, and then otherwise, if I will, I will see you all in just a few hours as we return to the world of Pokemon.